What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon out there to uh, everyone out here on this Sunday, May 7th, 2023. It's about 10.25 a.m. here. Uh, Central Time in Texas. Um, earthquake activity. Looking at Southern California currently. Um, doesn't look like we've seen too much of in the way of any uptick in swarming overnight. Uh, looks like a typical day down there, although a little bit more active across the L.A. region with quite a few smaller microquakes in the area. Uh, a glance here at the 2.5 map and above will show us uh, if there's any large scale movement going on, which it doesn't look like it. We did have a 2.5 uh, just off the San Andreas Fault there near Pinnacles, which is uh, listed right here, center map near the Diablo range, about 5.3 kilometers. This earthquake coming in from yesterday so uh, most of the movement today looks like it's generally light uh, and typical areas uh, down here in the swarming region outside of the El Centro area. Most of this earthquake activity from yesterday, although we did have a 1.9 a little bit further west here uh, from the swarming area. Uh, total tally of this swarming area, we're going to have to go back um, last 30 days because it's been over a week since we've had uh, the elevated movement there outside of El Centro. 209 earthquakes within the vicinity, uh, most of that occurring within the last two weeks. Uh, and that's just off the Imperial Fault. We did have a couple other different swarms up here to the north around the Salton Sea and also here uh, across the southern end of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, but today it looks like a much quieter uh, scenario. Nothing going on. I find that hard to believe across the Pacific Northwest. Let's see what we got for the uh, trimmer map here tonight. We're out tonight, <laughs> this morning. Um, 93 epicenters, that's from yesterday. Most of it into Northern California and a little bit up in Oregon as well. It uh, doesn't look like there's too much activity kicking up. Yellowstone National Park, nothing being reported, but let's go check it out for fun. Make sure that uh, there's not anything fishy going on out here. Looks like a little earthquake activity, at least one here in the last couple hours that's centered around the northern section here of the Yellowstone caldera but overall nothing major going on across that area into the Alaska region uh, some very small microquake activity across the Cook Inlet area and around Anchorage as well nothing major going on there today either uh, up into the Kuro Kamachaka Trench this is from yesterday we did have a couple earthquakes ramping up here at the northern end uh, around the Russia area just offshore some deep and some shallow, so a little bit of uptick and movement across that area. Also, one earthquake, can't forget this, way up north, northwestern Russia area, 4.2. All right, uh, looking across the Philippine plate and the Indonesia and New Guinea area looks fairly active. Uh, looks like we've seen a pretty good uptick in movement yesterday as well as this morning around the Philippines. Uh, no major movement to report. The latest one of 5.2 there is mentioned north of Manila at the northern end here just off the Philippine Trench. Across the uh, Mariana Trench and the Izu Trench up here. A little bit of uptick yesterday as well. Mostly fours, but uh, we did see a, a fairly deep earthquake up here north uh, into the Izu Trench at 417 kilometers deep for that 4.2. Uh, down here into the Vanuatu area. Look at this deep earthquake uh, way down here into one of these trenches. Uh, not for sure which one it is. There's a couple different ones down here uh, off this plate boundary that, that uh, is a subduction zone. That's a 637 kilometer deep 4.2. Now that took place a couple hours ago. That is today. Now with this deeper movement here, we'll have to definitely watch the areas upstream and within this plate boundary here. Solomon Islands um, area and uh, the Vanuatu area, Port Villa area upstream from this deeper movement. It's a super deep earthquake. Uh, down here into the Kermadec Trench, one earthquake from yesterday. Nothing really showing up here across New Zealand. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out real quick here and see what we have. GeoNet servers for the folks in New Zealand. Late, latest earthquake shows a 2.4 from two days ago. But that's going to be the week and above. So the all magnitudes map here. Uh, generally light earthquake activity. It looks like we did have a 3.1 uh, just off the north coast here two hours ago. Uh, for the most part though, generally light earthquake activity here being reported. 
earthquake drums here across New Zealand. Uh, looks fairly minimal. A little bit of activity here, it looks like maybe around the um, uh, North Island, but I'm wondering if that's at the uh, Taupo volcano. Let me check here, see what we have. No, it doesn't look like it's at the uh, Taupo super volcano, so it it's light earthquake activity occurring, it looks like, around the North Island area towards the east coast of that uh, region here. All right, let's see what else we have across the area. Not a whole lot going on across the Middle East area. Uh, we got one earthquake, 4.6 there into Turkey. Aside from that, uh, things look uh, fairly minimal. Let me check out the EMSC model here and see what we have to report across their map. It looks uh, roughly about the same here as the um, USGS map. Not seeing anything major. Maybe another earthquake added up here onto the list. Um, these are in the last 24 hours. Last 48 hours would show a much broader view, but this kind of gives us a good indicator where potentially some earthquake activity may be uh, getting ready to pop up. Considering the deeper movement here into the um, Vanuatu area, down into the trench, uh, this area has been lacking earthquake activity. Uh, so watch this area pretty closely here today. I wouldn't doubt it if we see something uh, pop up there. All right, um, east or the Atlantic area, fairly quiet. Nothing being reported. South America got four earthquakes down here. Latest looks like a 4.4 uh, near the uh, San Antonio de los Corbles, Argentina area, 235 kilometers deep into the Peru-Chile Trench. Up north here around the Puerto Rico area, got uh, most of the activity uh, on the smaller side, mostly twos and some lower grade threes across this region. One earthquake here into the Middle America Trench with a 4.3, 35 kilometers deep. Uh, one earthquake up here, um, looks like off the coast of Maine, Eastport, Maine, a 2.0 early this morning, seven kilometers deep. Uh, aside from that, not a whole lot popping off here across the eastern portion of the country. The big island out here, one earthquake it looks like in the last hour or so, 2.3 near Pahala. Things kind of calming down here today. Uh, I notice the Hawaii area really ramps up, really ramps up uh, when the west coast is very active and things are quiet over here. Uh, but for right now things look uh, uh, fairly more active here along the west uh, western side of the Pacific Plate compared to areas uh, east. But again, watch this region here, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu area for some movement uh, today. Let's see, uh, space weather activity and then I'll kind of go over what's uh, been going on here over the last day with uh, our travels. It looks like we do have a G3 storm incoming here. Um, let's see what we have. Geomagnetic forecast has been updated to include the possibility of a strong G3 storm during the next 48 hours, so May 7th to May 8th. Uh, this was just put out this morning, it looks like. Uh, the combination of an incoming coronal hole stream and a possible CME passage could contribute to storm conditions. Uh, looks like middle to high latitude uh, areas should be alert uh, for some auroras if it's dark. Uh, let's see what we got for the detailed forecast here. Looks like the time frame on this is going to be between 0 um, and 600 on the 8th of May UTC time. So that's um, looks like that's going to be later tonight. Late tonight. So good possibility. Maybe uh, even prior to that. Looks like it's building up here. Uh, might be perfect conditions here around the North American area later tonight for those uh, for the auroras, so keep your uh, keep your camera handy. Hopefully, you have clear skies and uh, maybe be able to see some of those auroras down into the uh, northern tier states tonight. Maybe a little bit lower. Uh, we'll definitely watch that, and uh, if anything does pop off, well, I don't think we're gonna see it down here in Texas. We've got cloudy skies here where I'm at, and some more storms brewing up. But either way, get out there tonight. Uh, let's see, any uh, major flares popping up? Doesn't look like it. Most of these flare activity 
uh, was yesterday and the day before. Regional sunspots here look like they are degrading. Uh, we do have a couple different ones here that may be worth watching this area up here. And um, uh, maybe potentially this region as well. So both of these sunspots are currently facing the Earth. And what is behind it uh, is not a whole lot. Things look like they're uh, a little bit on the calmer side as far as the uh, sunspots go. But we'll continue to watch that. Uh, right now, still shows some elevated conditions here, but these are a little bit um, up there. 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 55. X flare remains elevated, uh, but most likely not uh, uh, at 15% chance. So G2, G3 storming conditions uh, we should transfer into the higher category uh, later this evening. All right, uh, weather out here today in Texas. Man, we had a crazy eventful day yesterday with uh, some large hail, very low supercells to the ground uh, with some very strong inflow um, and straight line winds coming in. We got caught up in a, a bunch of hail yesterday some large hail uh, probably golf ball maybe uh maybe a slightly bigger um it was a crazy day let me tell you today a little less active here across central texas no tornado threat here in uh, texas area most of that's going to be up into the iowa area and looks like portions of extreme southeastern nebraska with a five percent chance uh, wind looks like that may be the main threat again today here across Texas and definitely up into the Iowa and Nebraska area with a 30% probability of some uh, very strong winds. Uh, hail threat today um, looks like it's up position north as well into Iowa, Des Moines, Cedar Rapids. Uh, but down here in Texas, it looks like we have a slight chance of seeing uh, uh, somewhat of a similar event today. But uh, more so around the states north of here. Either way, just still be weather aware. We're going to be out here again uh, today monitoring the weather here across central Texas. And um, may go live if we have good coverage. But it's a little spotty. As we are all over the place yesterday chasing three tornado worn storms. Uh, seen a lot of rotation, um, a lot of lightning, a lot of hail, a lot of wind. And... Um, a funnel. I think we may have seen a funnel or two uh, start to form, but just the conditions were not set up properly for any tornado uh, formation. But uh, anyway, folks, uh, we'll be back here throughout the day. Um, I may storm or I uh, may uh, jump on the live stream when we're out uh, observing the weather today here in Texas. If not, we will catch you guys back here a little bit later on um, tonight. Hope you have a good one. Say bye, Missy Mimi's. Have a good day, guys. We'll catch you guys later.